Hello there. As we prepare for the big Christmas day, it is a bit of a mixed picture out there for Christmas Eve itself. If we take a look at the earlier satellite and radar image, we can see rain clearing its way northwards across Scotland, but we've already got some further showers filtering their way into Northern Ireland. Relatively cloudy for the far south of England, but there is a good chunk in the middle there, Northern England down into Wales, where there's some sunny spells. So that's where we start off Christmas Eve after. The, noon. the rain clearing its way northwards across the Northern Isles and those showers continuing to push their way in from the west. Some of those could be fairly heavy with the risk of hail and thunder. Can't rule out the odd shower across England and Wales but generally staying much drier to the east of that with some sunny spells as well. For all of us though, those winds are coming in from the south and that does mean that temperatures are going to be above average for the time of year. Highs of 12, maybe 13 degrees across southern areas of England, even 9 degrees across central northwestern areas of Scotland. It will remain fairly mild throughout the night as well with obtaining that cloud. The shower is continuing to push eastwards, perhaps a more organised band pushing across Wales and England. So Santa will have to dodge some thunderstorms and hail as he progresses through the night and delivers our presence. But we're sure he's up for the task. Another feature just pushing its way into the far northwest of Scotland with further outbreaks of rain here. But as I said, with that cloudy picture and the breeze, it is going to stay fairly mild. Most of us staying above freezing, but perhaps an isolated frost across the really sheltered spots of Deeside in the Scottish Glens as well. As we head throughout Christmas Day, then there are a couple of features that we've just got our eyes on. A waving front in the far southeast that might just clip its way across Kent and Sussex during the day. And then that feature in the northwest steadily pushing its way southwards. And it's behind that where we've got much cooler air coming in. So whilst it will remain fairly mild across the southeast, that cold air really digging down later on for northwestern areas of the UK. So if we rewind back to the start of Christmas Day, some showers continuing to ease their way off across England and Wales. We've got that feature in the far southeast that might just provide some longer spells of rain as well. This feature in the northwest then steadily progressing its way southwards, and it's behind this where the showers might just begin to turn a bit wintry later on in the afternoon and into the evening. So this is the greatest chance of us seeing a wintry white Christmas. Otherwise, the winds pilling up from the south across England and Wales, so remaining mild, as I said, 10, 11, 12 degrees still but you can just see that cold air beginning to dig its way down, dropping to around five degrees by the middle of the afternoon across the likes of Stornoway. Into the evening period, that frontal feature continuing to push its way southwards, so there will be further outbreaks of rain on here, and the temperatures will be dropping down across Northern Ireland and areas of Scotland. So increasingly the risk of some snow to lower levels, temporary accumulations of one to three centimetres as we move throughout the night and into the start of Boxing Day. There has been a yellow snow and ice warning issued for the likes of the highland and upper areas where five to ten centimetres of snow may build up during the day on Boxing Day across those higher levels. For the rest of us, there will be some sunny spells in there throughout Boxing Day, but it's going to feel colder for all as that cold air just continues to push its way southwards. You can keep up to date with all the forecasts for the rest of the Christmas weekend and up and further on following us on social media, and we'll see you again here soon. Bye-bye.